Hello everyone. If you have been having difficulties understanding the meaning of P data analysis and why we perform P data analysis on structures, then stick with me because at the end of this video, you are going to fully understand P data analysis. Now let's start. First of all, what does the letter P stand for? P basically means the force which is acting on a body or a structure. What about the term data? The term data means the displacement the body will undergo. And this can be horizontal or vertical displacement. But in this case, it is the horizontal displacement by taking a look at this image. Now, you need to know that P data analysis is different from linear static analysis because they are used when there are large deflections on the structure. In a linear static analysis, when we apply a load to a cantilever beam, at the end of the beam, it will deform the most. But for a non-linear analysis, we will be applying the load in an iterative fashion. When we first apply the load, the beam might deflate a little bit. Then we apply the load a little bit more, the beam deflates. Then we keep applying the load. So the point here is, we are applying the load to the deformed shape of the beam or the structure instead of the undeformed shape of the structure. P data analysis usually come into play when we have larger deflections in the structure. An example would be a multi-story frame that has a lateral load acting on the structure and it is pushing the structure sideways and also have a gravity load acting downward by taking a look at this image. Now, if we take the sum of the moment about the base of a structure, we have the vertical load multiplied by the height of the structure, which will be the primary moment. We are going to add this primary moment to the secondary moment, which is caused by the gravity load multiplied by the deflection. So this is the secondary moment, and the secondary moment is what we call p data effects. Now you know this, you might be wondering why engineers don't use it all the time. One of the downside of p data analysis is it takes a little bit more time to run the analysis. And as we all know that engineers like to make assumptions in order to simplify problems. So if it is not necessary, then the engineer will usually omit it from the analysis. But P data analysis is really, really great to check if your structure is not undergoing large deformation after you have done other analysis. So what am I trying to say? In a nutshell, P data analysis is done to accurately approximate the secondary effects for the members. Thanks for watching and please do not hesitate to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be the first to get notification. Bye-bye.